Circus Theatre Company, The Dust Palace, brings us a brand new show, Human, which combines captivating circus artistry and candid cabaret. It opens this week at Auckland's Q Theatre and launches the company's drive to fund a new performance at Practice Space, set to open next year. Director and co-founder of The Dust Palace, Mike Edwards, joins us right now. Welcome, yes, Mike. Yes, welcome Hello. back. Hello. Lovely to have you here. Um, we should go over a little bit of background for you, maybe those who aren't familiar with you, as okay. we are. Uh, you have your actor on telly. Uh, you've been on what? Shortland Street. You're the villain, Zach. Um, yeah, the, always the villain. Always yeah. villain. Nothing trivial. Filthy rich mm. villain once villain, again. Yep. Involved with the Pop Up Globe recently. Yes, yes. So yep, you've had a firm, summer, yep. so you had a firm base of acting. So where did the circus part come in? Well, the circus kind of it's been there. It first started because. Um, a wonderful uh, teacher at drama school, Beth Kays, came in and taught physical theatre. And when I finished, uh, when I graduated, she cast me in one of her shows. And that's where I met Eve, uh, my partner and the other founder, founder of the, the Dust Palace. And we started working together and um, started just doing circus. So we kind of built it up alongside. So you, you, yeah. you are a very busy man because it says here that you're also a former death, decathlete. What is De that? Decathlete. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, it's uh, just athletics, 10 events. Oh, um, it's just, a, oh, just yeah. 10 events. Yeah. 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 Spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it seems so long ago now. I don't know. So you founded the Dust Palace with your partner, um, yep. Eve Gordon. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about what it actually is. Well, we, we being actors, we wanted to um, tell stories. You know, we just didn't want to just do circus and kind of do... Uh, you know, gratuitous kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, so we started trying to explore putting narrative into circus shows. Um, and so we just slowly started making shows kind of on Eve's credit card. And then in, I think, 2012, we got a, got a venue and set up a school to pay for the venue. And it's just grown from there. Next year's our 10th year anniversary, which is amazing. Oh. Yes, and we're aiming to get a new space. Yeah, that's the, the plan. Yeah, but, so but, how does this all work? Well, so the thing is, next year we're, we're looking to get a much bigger space. Um, but in order to do that, obviously, it requires a bunch of capital and all those kind of things. So this, this show, we're, we've just made a rock and roll cabaret, you know, with big names and lots of performers. And we're going to raise funds so we can afford to do that shift, yeah. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about this. It's Human. Yeah, Human is the name. Um, yeah, it's a cabaret. We've been, like I said, we've always made stories um, and we but we've been asked time and time again to do, just do a cabaret and something that's really entertaining and easy to sit down and drink lots of beer and enjoy um, so <laughs> Sounds like my sort of gig yeah <laughs> so I called Shane Cortez and said do you want to do this and he said he was keen and we got a wonderful concert pianist um, Flavio an amazing guitarist um, who you'll see later Kevin Go um, and 11 of our best performers. So when you say the cabaret, so there's no fixed storyline, it's all different pieces? Yeah, to a, to a degree. I mean, we, we can't help but kind of flesh it out with a bit of story just to, because yeah. that, that's where the catharsis and, the, and yeah. the meaning comes from. So we've got a, a very simple thing of a relationship that you can follow throughout the show, but it's not like in your face, you know. So, so. We do, do we have Shane Cortese hanging? Yeah, does he do contortions? Oh, oh, look, I expect nothing less, you know, <laughs> to, be, to be honest. I'm looking for Shane, big things from Shane. He's not aware of it as yet, but it'll be fine. No, yeah. and he's, he's a yes man, you know. You say, he does. <laughs> Shane is great. Him, he's so yeah. amazing. He, he came into um, our rehearsals the other day and he's just such a star. We're so happy to have him. That's amazing. So, uh, you know, what sort of people are you attracting that join Dust Palace? What are they looking for in life? Oh, look, yeah, all sorts. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a way of fitness. You know, yeah. like I said before, it's like CrossFit, but with points. I know, do you get, do you get arms you know? like that if you come and join the Dust Palace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a promise. <laughs> what are you yes. about? No, I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, there's people that just do it for fitness. There's people that want to perform. Right. Um, it's it's just fun, and it's good community as well, you know? Great. And the confidence and all that kind of stuff it builds. So you obviously were the performer, but you hurt your shoulder, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So you can't actually do all the hangy, hangy stuff now, or you shouldn't be doing all the hangy stuff now. Yeah, it's got a bit better. It's got a bit better, but funnily enough, I've kind of... I've, I've, I've put myself out because I started, when I got injured, I started directing yeah. um, the work and that's kind of worked, so I can't get back in anymore. <laughs> do, you, do you want to, you know, when you're directing Human and you're looking at it unfold, are you like, oh, I just want to be up there? No, not at all, you know. There's a point where you've just got to decide sparkly tights don't work, you know? <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know, I think you'd probably carry them off still. Mike, on the other hand, might have a few issues with them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would get in sparkly tights if it gave me arms like that. Um, okay, cool. So who should come and see 
see the show then because it sounds fun. Oh look, anyone, it's, it's super entertaining, it's for people that are into theatre, we've got a lot of Dust Palace supporters, um, we did a, a big show with the APO last year, um, had a lot of people but uh, I think to support New Zealand Circus and to, to support the sustainability of building a company in the city, mm. you know, anyone that's interested in that for their kids, for the future, yeah. would be amazing. And come along because you have those moments where you just go, oh, ooh, it's amazing. Oh, no, yeah. And you've got the live music, you've got the action, you've got the atmosphere. Yeah, the, I saw you rehearsing before the team. It looks incredible. Yeah, the, the performers are amazing athletes. Yeah. Like They're just amazing. You'll see Rochelle later. Oh, yeah, and, we, and we say this every yeah. time. We always say that we have got to come out and have a go at the Dust Palace, but this time we, we really we are going to come out at some stage. Really? Go. Yeah, yeah we'll do it. Do it. Well done. Right. Hey, thank Excellent. you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Human runs from Wednesday to Saturday at Auckland's Q Theatre. You can check out the website for ticket details. You can also check out the Dust Palace website for more info about them as well. Yeah, support them. Let's get them in a new space next year.